hello everyone so before i start this tier list i just want you all to know that this is all my opinion and none of it is uh like i i wouldn't consider any of it to be a fact just like and there are also major spoilers for all the books so if you haven't read any of the books go read them right now or uh you will have bad luck for one million years um yeah just there are spoilers and don't consider any of this to be a fact, this is all just my opinion. So I'm making a tier list on Wings of Fire. Um, I'm just going to start by saying there are none of these books that I outright don't like. I just like some more than others. Uh, I like all the books in the series. There are just some I like, well, more than others. Um, anyway, let's get started. Uh, like if I put something on D tier... That doesn't mean I don't like it. It means I like it less than the other ones. Anyway, let's start. Book one. I'm going to put this one at B tier because I like the story. I like Clay as a character. But he's not my favorite character. He's not my least favorite character. It's kind of in the middle. I don't know. I feel like it just fits on B tier. It's pretty good, actually. I mean, if, in case you didn't notice, there's no F tier because none of the books are an F tier. None of the books are D tier either, but I mean, I kind of got to put some there because... Anyway, I really like Clay as a character. I feel like him with Peril is pretty cute. Anyway, moving on. Book 2. <clears throat> the Lost Air. I feel like it's just Tsunami fighting with other sea wings. There's no, like, actual, like, fighting fighting in it. I mean, there is some, but... I don't know. Um, C tier. I really like Tsunami as a character, but... Um, she's not my favorite character. But yeah, let's let's just continue on before I make someone mad. Uh, she's not my least favorite character, not my favorite character. Just putting it on C tier because that's where it fits in this tier list. Number three, S tier all the way. I love Glory. She's one of my favorite characters. She goes so well with Deathbringer. They are so cute together, and I just loved those scenes where she was with Deathbringer. Uh, one of my favorite books ever. Moving on, we have... The Dark Secret, D tier. It's okay, but it's just Starflight in a volcano. It, the, the book only lasts like 24 hours, and if it was real time, actually, I'm not sure. I haven't read it in a while, and it's my least, my second least favorite. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I, I haven't really thought about the winglets very much, did I? Um, <clears throat> moving on, we have Sunny's book, A tier. Uh, I really like Sunny because she's so cute and so funny. Funny Sunny. Um, yeah, I feel like she's just a good character. And she's the character I relate to the most because I talk too much and I'm too nice. Um, this next book, S tier. I love Moonwatcher because she's like so funny and, well not really funny, but I just love her character and I feel like I can really relate to her. I mean, I'm no mind reader, but... I feel like I'm good at telling what people are feeling and very good at being sympathetic. Not to brag, but I just feel like that's me. Moving on, we have Winter's Book, Winter Turning, Book 7. Maybe I'll put a B tier. I love that one scene where he confessed his feelings for Moonwatcher. But uh, other than that, it's mostly just Winter being mean to people, yelling at people, and like thinking about how much he hates his family. Which, I mean, he had a bad family, so you can't really blame him. But, um, yeah. That's, I'm just gonna put him there. Peril's book. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Villager noises. Um, this is a high decision between C and B. I think I'll put it at C. No, I'll put it at B. It's alright, but it's not my favorite. I just don't like, don't love it, don't hate it. It's one of my, it's just like the Dragonette Prophecy. I love how I put those two together. It's the Dragonette Prophecy. It's just like the Dragonette Prophecy, but I just don't love it, don't hate it. I don't really know what my feelings are for it. I love how Peril like chose Queen Ruby over Queen Scarlet in the end. How she like was manipulated by magic, and then I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Book nine. C tier, right next to her sister. Um, 
I didn't really love this one. It wasn't my favorite. Actually, D tier. <clears throat> it's kind of like this one. I feel like it's got too much filler, and it doesn't really have much... Just like book four, it doesn't really contribute to the main plot that much. I feel like it's just like the in-betweens of the the good parts. It's the between... It, it's the book that exists between the good parts. Anyway, moving on. Book 10. I think I'll do. Putting a lot of B tier, but... B tier. I really love how Darkstock is like, Hey, you want to be an animus? And he's like... Say yes, say yes, say yes, no. Because he's a good character, he wants to be good, he wants to preserve his sanity. <clears throat> Next up, we have book 11. And I think I'll put it here. It's not really that interesting. It's a good book, but it's not that interesting. I mean, it is really interesting, but not compared to the other ones. It just fits on the C tier. Um... This one, the Hive Queen. Hmm, I guess I'll put a B tier. I'm putting so many B tier. I'll put a C tier because it's just about as good as The Lost Continent. And, like, uh, there's not really much to it. I mean, there's a lot of good parts, and I love the parts with Blue and Cricket together, but yeah. Anyway, next up, The Poison Jungle. I'll put it A tier because I like Sundu's sassy personality, and she's really really a good character in my opinion but yeah she's going there um i really love sundu as a character moving on we have book 14 uh, b tier i guess um i like her being here because you know She's just, it is mostly just the in-betweens. Like I said, this book, this book, and the, you know what? Yeah, fits there. These books, the books that are right before the last book of an arc, the second, the penultimate book in an arc, second to last book in every arc, I feel like it's just chock full of filler. Well, not like chock full, but like, it's got a lot of filler. Anyway, Darkstalker. I like this one. Love Darkstalker's slow descent into madness. I love the beginning with Fathom, whereas the royal family got massacred. Yeah, I mean, everyone likes that, but like, you know, it's weird. It's like, I don't know. Moving on, we have Dragon Slayer. <laughs> hmm. Actually, wait, why am I even thinking about this? Of course, it's D tier. Um, it's got humans in it, rather than dragons, scavengers, whatever you want to call them, and I don't really like that. I mean, I prefer, I prefer my books to be about dragons, if it's literally called Wings of Fire, it should be about dragons. But, uh, it's not bad, it's just not the best. It's probably my least favorite in the series. Prisoners. D tier, because it's mostly just people talking. That's all it really is, just people talking. They're, like, it goes, I mean, it goes over the part where they hid in the rainforest, but I don't really like it that much. I don't know, it's not, not the best, not the worst. Assassin. That'll go S tier, because I really love Deathbring as a character. There are some good emotional scenes. Um, no. Yeah. It's a good book. Anyway. Uh, Deathbringer is probably my favorite character out of all the characters in Wings of Fire ever. Moving on, we have is this one. This one's Deserter, right? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe B tier. I don't know. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's kind of in the middle. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I love Six Claws as a character, but. He's an interesting character, and I don't know. I, I kind of like how, like, uh, you know what I mean. How, like, Burn doesn't really like him, and she's, like, always cruel to him. But, you know. Next up, I'm going to put Runaways on A tier, because I love Winter, or Arctic, uh, how he kind of goes insane, you know. I don't know. That's about it. 
Um, this is my tier list. So I got these three in S tier. The Hidden Kingdom, Moon Rising, and Assassin are S tier. The Brightest Knight, uh, The Poison Jungle, Legends Darkstalker, and Winglets Runaway are on A tier. The Dragon of Prophecy, I just noticed. Oh, never mind. Wait. I just noticed. For the first book in every arc, it says Wings of Fire at the top, but for all the other books in its arc, it says it at the bottom. And then, for book 6, which is the first book in its arc, it says it at the top. Am I just now noticing that? And for this one? I don't know. Anyway, not important. Uh, the Dragon of Prophecy, Winter Turning, Escaping Peril, Darkness of Dragons, and Deserter are all on B. The Lost Air, The Lost Continent, The High of Queen, The Dangerous Gift are all on C. The Dark Secret, Talons of Power, Dragon Slayer, and Prisoners are all on D. So, I hope you enjoyed this tier list video. I will see you in the next one, I suppose. Uh, yeah, goodbye.